Right, hello and welcome to part seven of the Knitting Machine Restoration, where we're going to turn our attention to the carriage. And now the carriage actually doesn't look too bad, apart from being filthy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the um, take the top off it and we'll have a look. I've taken these two grub screws out, so the handle just comes off like that. And then with this thing, if you turn it down past zero on Knitmasters, it just pulls out. Um, with Brothers, there's a screw and there is no grease at all on this which is extremely surprising um so i wonder where all the grease has gone on this thing um nevertheless let's see if we can get this bit off now this bit this is the annoying bit because different knit masters have got different ways of getting this bit off and it's always a pain however with a screwdriver i can reach in pin that that spring and then pull it up like that, and then up and out we come. So now then, oh, come on. Okay, that might have to wait for a minute until I can work out how to do it. Oh, okay, something is holding this in, something which is not expected. And again, this quite often happens with knitting machine stuff. There's some part that's gone a bit sideways in its old age that doesn't work properly. Let's have a look and see. Okay, right. I'm going to pause the video and see what it is that's happened to this. And I shall bring you back once it's time to take it out properly. Right, I've worked out what's going on. This particular one has got a cam that holds it on. So we'll take off these screws here and see if we can't get the central plate off. Oh dear, these screws I don't want to come off. There we are. As I say, the lack of grease in this probably makes it easier to um, clean up, but honestly, who operates a machine for 50 years with no grease in it? No. Let's see if we can get this off now. Okay, there we go. Right, that's that. <laughs> Still absolutely no grease and surprisingly little wear for a completely ungreased thing. That's filthy, but that will clean up. Right, um, last bit, I'm going to get this cover off as well, which you do by loosening these two screws at the back. And it should lift off at the back and then there's some little clips at the front. But I'm generally a massive pain to get off, so we will have to, to see where it's going with that. Okay, there we go, right, that's one off, and that's the other off, and there we go. Now, let's have a look at this. Okay, there's some rust in there, so it's been been um, wet at some point, and these drums, to be honest with you, don't look hugely healthy. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and have a go at cleaning up and I'll come back and explain to you what it was that I had to do um, I think in a next video okay or maybe in the second half of this video so I'll see you in a bit right hello welcome back um okay what I've done is I've loosened off this drum mechanism I'm actually going to take it off normally I wouldn't do this unless I had to because I'd be quite bad tempted about going back on again but there's a lot of grot around here so I think I'll have to have it off and see what it is that's gone a bit sideways with this. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Now then, let's keep on remembering not to, oh good God, not to take it out of shot. Um, right, okay, well the drum itself is not in appalling condition. It's not amazing. It's not appalling. Um, however, um, this is really look. This is really interesting. So the way this programs is as follows. Okay, um, this thing rolls across those little grey levers at the back, and the grey levers at the back push down the um, uh, these things, or push them, push them down like that, which pull pushes out some of the um, some of the uh, these bits. And when it's going this way transfers them across to this drum like that okay which then 
pushes the needles into the right position. So you can see those four. Okay, this thing, when it goes backwards, will automatically cancel itself. Okay, so this is now cancelled and ready to pick up another row, but this, this drum is programmed. And then on its back row, this just pushes in like that, and uh, this bit here, and that automatically cancels all of them and gets it ready to pick up another row. And off it goes back, picking up a few more, like that, and you should be able to see. Oh, yeah. Program it. There you go. There's a few more programmed, and it'll push the needles, and it'll come back and de-push them. So it's a really cunning method that actually stores most of the information in the carriage and not on the bed. Um, now this needs a clean, and I think probably this one ought to come off as well, just to make sure. Um, so I shall do that, and then again I shall get back to you. Right, here's the next bit of the knitting machine carriage cleaned up. So I've undo, done the screws, and this bit now comes off completely. Um, so you'll be able to see that this can just be cleaned and um, there's no actual moving parts on this this can just be scrubbed clean and all the moving parts are on this so this will need a bit more clear uh, careful cleaning um so i'll get all that cleaned up and then um i will come back and we shall put it all back together again right then now i have been um i've taken this drum unit apart and i discovered this nasty yarn sort of all wrapped around it um so i'm going to take this drum unit apart and see if we've got the same thing going on as well um, because I think it's quite important to get that cleaned out. Someone's made a right mess of this screw in the past. If someone has had it cut apart before, despite its distinct lack of energy, it's got plenty of dirt. So out that comes. And then we need to take this um, circuit off the top, which is sufficiently filthy. Okay. Ooh. Let's get the washers off. Only one wash on this side, there were two on the other. Okay, now we can start pulling this up and off. What have we got down here? Okay, so not, not any disgusting stuff, although you saw how difficult it was to pull off. So clearly this could always do as a good clean. So that's my next job, is to clean up these two and get them back together again. Um, and I shall see you when it's time to put it all together again.